Hi guys. So um, today we're here to talk about Degrassi Junior High season three characters. Um, this this uh, uh, season was a wild ride. Um, I'm gonna put a couple of uh, trigger warnings at the beginning of this episode. I can actually speak them now because I wrote them uh, here at the top. So we're going to be talking about um, death of parents. So trigger warning. We're going to be talking about the death of parents, animal testing, you know, for cosmetics, uh, ED, a child in critical condition. A, uh, P-E-D-O, a grown man who's creepy. You know what, you know the word I can't say on YouTube. And another word I can't say on YouTube. R-A-C-I-S-M. Here we talk about that too for a little bit. Not, you know, we're going to be talking about that, but I can't say that word either because YouTube just doesn't think, whatever. I don't know. YouTube is messed up. Anyway, so we're going to talk about the characters first and what I think about them. Wheels. This is the season where I start to lose respect for Wheels. Um, like, obviously, he's going through it. But beating up Joey and, like, you know, just disrespecting his grandmother, even though she's the one allowing him to stay in his house and offering to take care of him. You know, it's just, it really upsets me. Snake. I love Snake, still. He does have that little um, rocky time with his brother, but they do eventually make up and he apologizes. Lucy. I love Lucy. She's so sweet. I don't like how everybody's crapping on her all the time because she's literally just trying to live her life and she didn't do what they said she did, and yet they still blamed Lucy. LD. LD gets on my nerves. I'm not a fan of LD this season. At all. The reason I'm not a fan of LD is because how she just judges Lucy for something that Lucy didn't even do. Like, when your friend tells you they didn't do it, why would you not believe them? Like, it, it just infuriated me so much. Erica. I like Erica. She is just trying to live her life. She's trying to be an individual. She likes Clutch. Clutch uses her, which really makes me upset. But you know, that's a story for a different day. Heather. Heather is actually my favorite out of the two because she's such a sweetheart. And I feel so bad for Heather because literally she's just trying to get by most of the time. Spike. I still like Spike. I just feel like something that infuriates me about Spike is how hard she is on Shane because he is giving her child support. He is trying to help her and she's just completely like crapping on him. Liz. Still don't like Liz. Liz is a little too quick to judge people. Liz is rude. Rude as hell. The way she talks to Caitlin at the end of one of the episodes is rude as hell. Shane. I like Shane this season because he's giving Spike child support and he's trying to do his thing. But on the other hand, when that one storyline comes around, he does deserve to go out for a night of fun. He does deserve to have that too. Alexa. Um, okay, back to Shane for a second. Um, I know that he usually does have fun and that's the point that Spike was trying to get across. But, um, like, like he said, you know, he, he does deserve to go to a concert. And I know it's not fair. It's just, you know what I'm trying to say. You guys know what I'm trying to say. Alexa. I don't like Alexa. The reason I don't like Alexa is because she's a bit too much, number one. Number two, she literally treats Simon like crap. I don't know why they're still together. Like, I don't know why they got back together. She shouldn't have just apologized and it was all fine. But yeah, I'm not a fan of Alexa. Simon. Simon is so sweet. He deserved so much better than Alexa. And honestly, I do like Michelle and BLT, but Michelle and Simon weren't bad either. 
They didn't, they never dated, but you know what I mean. They went to the dance together. Michelle. I love Michelle. She's such a big sweetheart. I love her so much. And I love how she said to Alexa, well, you should apologize to Simon. Like, oh my God. Yes. And the line she says to Alexa, which we'll talk about later, such a girl boss line. I love Michelle. BLT. I love BLT. The way he acts with Michelle is just so sweet. And like it, I just love BLT. He's such a sweetheart. Joey. Joey has kind of calmed down a little bit because of Caitlyn. And I really like how Joey has calmed down and he's become a little more responsible is not the word, but he's become a little more, I don't know. I don't know what the word is. Caitlyn. I like Caitlyn. At first I wasn't sure about her because you know, she, you know, um, um, she, uh, she was kind of like, you know, the Emma, like the, this testing is wrong and everything. And she was like, you know, going on about that. But then like, you know, she didn't even think to research it. And then she's different from Emma where she actually researched it and found out that, you know, there are two sides to every story. Melanie. Melanie, I like better this season because she is a very good friend to Kathleen and she's very concerned about people's feelings. And I like that Melanie has kind of now had her self-awareness. Kathleen. Okay, let's talk about Kathleen. She's going through it. She's going through it. And I think it was interesting that Kathleen went one way of trying to control her life and Ellie went another way. And, you know, I think that it was interesting to show those two sides, but Kathleen, she is a lot like Claire in my opinion. She wants everything to be perfect. Everything has to be perfect. And I, I've known a lot of perfectionists in my life. And, you know, it just, Kathleen, it honestly breaks my heart to watch Kathleen this season because she wants everything to be perfect. She just wants her parents to be proud of her. And, you know, it like nobody's there for her. And it, it's, it is kind of heartbreaking, even though Kathleen's a bit of a bitch, let's be honest. It is heartbreaking. Arthur. Arthur is living his life and then we start to see that Arthur is not happy with his dad's, you know, new situation. And I don't feel like Arthur had to be that rude to Carol. I feel like that was kind of over the top, but I do get Arthur being upset, but I, I still like Arthur. Yick. I like Yick. Yick and Arthur are probably my like favorite duo and like Yick is just so sweet. Like I just can't get over how sweet he is. Scooter. So Scooter is such a sweetheart, such a sweetheart. And I like the duo of him and Bartholomew. Um, Bartholomew kind of gets on my nerves a little bit, but they're just kids, but him and Scooter, they're probably one of my favorite um, duos as well because they're so sweet. Mr. Garcia. I think Mr. Garcia is great. I think he was a great addition to junior high. I think that he was a great teacher and he really showed that he cared about the students, like where he was like, I'll help wheels catch up, like, you know. Mr. Radich. I still don't like Mr. Radich. He's still a better teacher, but I still don't like him because he's still like, I just, Mr. Radich just, irks me in so many ways. Miss Avery. I love Miss Avery. She's still so sweet, always offering to help people, always being there for people. The fact that she made Kathleen go to the nurse so Melanie told her what was going on, that was good. Doris Bell. She's still just there. She's not really, you know. Miss Hawkins, the maintenance lady. She, uh, Luella, they also refer to her as, uh, I really like her. She like takes no shit, gives no fucks. She's like, 
Clutch. I hate Clutch for so many reasons. Because Clutch is so disgusting. Like, he's just, oh, I hate him so much. Paul. Paul? I don't like him either because he seemed like a good person and then he wasn't. Amy and Allison. I hate Allison and I like Amy. Allison is too much and Amy is, you know, kind of like more reserved. Nancy. Still love Nancy. She literally takes no shit, gives no fucks. I love Nancy. Tim. I love Tim. Such a sweetheart. The way that he stood up to... The way that he put Luke in his place after what happened to Shane, that was amazing. Luke. Hate Luke. Even more this season, I hate Luke. Maya. Love Maya. Such a sweetheart. Such a sweetheart. Alex. Alex didn't really show up that much, uh, but... I mean, he's a good person. Trish. Trish is such a sweetheart. Oh my God, I love her so much. Just so much. Uh, Trudy. That's the girl with Dwayne's group. She walks into the bathroom when Amy and Allison are fighting. We don't know much about her, so I'm just gonna kind of skip over her. Diana. Uh, we see more of Diana, and we find out she's a really sweet person, and she's a really good friend to Caitlin with the whole Joey thing. Dorothy. Dorothy is doing her thing. Just trying to get by. And Arthur is treating her kind of like Stephanie treated him and I don't really like that. Tessa. Tessa hasn't really done much. She wants to go to the dance with Scooter which is super cute. And Dorothy and Tessa, I like them as a duo too. They're really good friends. Emma as the baby. The cute little baby. So cute. Anyway, okay, so I watched most of the episodes. I just didn't get to episode 14. But, you know, so we'll be reading those last three here. So, here are my notes. Arthur and Yick should not have done what Joey did to Arthur to Bartholomew. Yick was not put in the closet, so I don't know why he said when Joey put us in the closet. Steph went to private school. At least we know what happened to her. Wheels and Snake teasing Joey about being in grade eight was funny. Radich making Joey sit near the front is much. Is a bit much. Wheels saying, oh, Wheels saying ow because he hits the desk is funny. I don't think he meant to do that, but his side hit the desk and the actor was like, ow. I don't think he meant to do that. Mr. Radich hitting Arthur and Yick on the shoulder after they high five is funny. Joey sneaking a peek at Caitlyn is funny. It's impressive for Joey to have them record a tape of the song. Joey not realizing it was silent at first was funny. Joey hitting Snake's face lightly was funny. Yik is so sweet when Arthur tells him his mom won the lottery. He's so excited. Shane wanting to see the pictures of Emma was justified. Why don't you come over and change your diapers? Okay, then invite him over to do that. At least the parents do like Joey. I still think they're too hard on wheels, though. They're like, too hard on wheels for hanging out with Joey. The tape sounds like good quality, too. Wheels should not assume his parents called the police. Snake was nice to offer to stay with Wheels. Wheels' grandmother telling him his parents are, you know, unalive, just heartbreaking. Why does Radich tell the class what happened with Wheels' parents? I get it, but at the same time, why? Because they never would have done that at my school. A lot of Wheels' friends were there. I like how Mr. Radich and Miss Avery were there for him, too. Why isn't he crying? Everyone shows emotion differently. So to add a little bit of context to everybody shows emotion differently. When my mom died, it had been coming for a long time, but when my mom died, I absolutely cut off. I felt no emotion at all. Like I felt absolutely nothing. So with having that experience, it kind of helps me understand the different emotions that people feel because, you know, it's, it's different for everybody. At least Joey and Snake were there for Wheels, too. Joey was sweet to keep calling to check up on him. Wheels' grandmother was right to try to talk to Wheels. Wheels' dream is freaky, and it scares me. We are dead. And then, literally, as I said, we are dead in the dream. It started pouring rain where I am, and that was creepy and perfect timing. 
LD teasing Lucy was funny. Joey trying to talk to Wheels was good. Wheels breaking the tape, I think, went too far. Everyone staring at Wheels is uncomfortable. The teacher was nice to offer extra help to him and to say it's great to have him back. I wrote that backwards, but great to have him back and then offer to help him. Shane hearing Spike needing money was good because then he got an idea. Wheels sitting by himself is sad. Yik teasing Arthur about being rich was funny. The milkshake combo where it's like, on you, I'm not rich. And it's like, I'm just teasing. Shane giving Spike money was really nice. Joey is sweet trying to talk to Wheels. Why is Wheels blaming Joey for everything? Wheels beating up Joey was wrong. At least Wheels and his grandma got to talk about it. I love how there are more supporters for Nancy in the election. Uh, Joey saying Wheels can beat him up anytime as a joke made me sad. Joey was nice to make Wheels another copy of the tape. At least Joey gave him a hug at the end of the episode. He said he was scared. He needed a hug. I'm just seeing... Okay. LD is good to not want her friend to get hurt. If you really love me, you'll have sex with me. I agree. So stupid. Erica and Heather liking kissing and LD hating it is funny. At least the girls said hi to wheels. Chick's crazy about me. Joey about Caitlin. Me. Joey. All she said was hi. Wheels has to heal at his own pace, Joey. Melanie was a good friend to make Kathleen feel... Um, good about herself even though she lost where she said she's way smarter than Nancy and I'm like not true by the way Kathleen is not smarter than Nancy clutch teasing Paul about Lucy is funny people in high school skip all the time that's what Lucy said and it's like not true for me at least Lucy missing LD's game was bad she promised her first Kathleen pushing Alexa out of the way to sit with Nancy was rude clutch is too pushy for Lucy to have a party we don't want any Niners at the party. Clutch said that. And it's like, um, dude, the Niner is throwing the party. At least Joey tried to get Snake to talk to Wheels. Kathleen blowing off Melanie is not nice. It was nice to see LD happy about winning the game. Lucy should not have canceled with them. Lucy talking to Spike about sex was good. Spike's advice to be careful was good. Kathleen saying grade eight is too immature for the dance committee is rude. Melanie pouring the milk on Kathleen was funny. Miss Avery rushing over and saying, are you all right? Oh, calm down. It was just milk. Lucy's friends were right to be skeptical when they said party. Cl when Clutch and Paul said party, mostly Clutch. Snake finally talking to Wheels was good. There's nothing wrong with being a virgin. If there was, there'd be something wrong with you. Yes, random girl. Lucy had a right to stand up to Paul for not wanting to do it. I especially like the line, then you won't have any problem finding someone to do it with. After he said, what's the big deal? Everyone is doing it. Ugh, what a dick. LD was not right to assume Lucy had sex without proof. Everyone knows you and Paul did it. Jesus, LD, be meaner, why don't you? Sarcasm, obviously. Gick should not care about how much a present costs. The maintenance lady is a huge mood. Don't worry about it, Joey. It's okay. That's funny because it was after Snake, after Joey got called goofball by the maintenance lady. I was like, don't worry about it, Joey. It's okay. Dorothy trying to help Arthur and Yick is sweet. I love the Arthur and Yick flashbacks. Yick does not have to apologize for calling him rich. Spike's friends telling her she will pass is sweet. Spike bringing in Emma was cute. Everyone excited to see the baby was cute. At least Shane kept his distance by Spike's wishes. Joey and Snake were nice to talk to Wheels. Joey was nice to invite Wheels and his grandparents over for Christmas. Spike was nice to let Shane hold Emma. At least he knows how to hold a child. Saying, hi, Emma, it's daddy is cute. At least the maintenance lady fixed the furnace. Pretty good for a woman. Oh, shut up, Joey. I like how everyone booed that. I like how she muttered goofball walking away. She had the last laugh. At least Yick and Arthur made up. Good job, Dorothy. They love their gifts. Also, Arthur was right, saying it was the thought that counts. Someone saying they can record over their tape is mean. Like, is it Remedy's tape? Caitlin buying one of their tapes was cute. Caitlin listening to their tape is cute. Caitlin's friends teasing her about Joey was funny. At least Snake and Wheels said... A C is not so bad for Joey's grade. Dorothy staring at Yick was funny. Alexa talking to Michelle about BLT was cute too. Joey asking Caitlin to be partners is cute. Joey has needs to give up on Liz. Dorothy asking Arthur about Yick is funny. Caitlin being excited to go is so cute. Caitlin was right to tell Joey he is people smart because there are different kinds of smart. Joey walking her home was cute. Caitlin telling the girls about it was cute. All her friends staring at Joey was funny. BLT smiling at Michelle when Alexa says they are eating in the park was cute. 
Joey and Caitlin work well together. Poor Simon. Alexa would not let him talk. Poor Michelle. It was for her. The presentation on the movie was cute. Joey calling Caitlin beautiful was cute. Boys on the lot. Boys are like buses. If you miss one, another will be by, will come by in just a few minutes. Alexa, I thought you were with Simon. I love Simon's plan he does with Michelle. I love how Snake stood up for Lucy when Luke said she sleeps around and Snake said that's just a rumor. Simon and Michelle putting on a show in front of Alexa was great, but the line waiting for a bus, fantastic girl boss moment. That's the girl boss moment. Stop hogging the guys, Alexa. That's what I say. All of Caitlyn's friends hyping her up is sweet. Caitlyn seeing Joey with Liz is heartbreaking. Why did she, why did one friend stop Diana from going up to Caitlyn when she was upset? She did not need to throw the tape away. Dorothy spraying Yick with water is too much. The look Caitlyn gives Joey at the end hurts me. You can see how upset she is. Because he said, I thought you liked me. That look could kill. If you can't play a sport, be one. The fuck does that mean? Oh, I just got it right now. I just, never mind, disregard. The jury will disregard. I love how a teacher is talking about AIDS. BLT and Shane and Snake make me uncomfortable when they joke about LGBT. Obviously it was different times, but still. Poor Lucy just wants her friends back. Don't, didn't he respect you in the morning? LD, I'm losing respect for you. I love how determined Joey is to get his tape played. Why would Arthur assume Yick told people he's rich? It's funny of Joey to wait there at the station. Love how Glenn is never mentioned again. Glenn and Snake are cute siblings, but Snake's ugly. That's not nice BLT. Just because Glenn is attractive and he, you know. Glenn is good to tell Snake that he's gay. I like how Glenn wanted to be honest with Snake. Poor Arthur keeps getting heckled about being rich. I like how Mr. Garcia talks about this on a volunteer basis because it's not in the curriculum yet, the, the AIDS discussions. I like how he wants to keep them safe. Shane and BLT should see Snake is not in the mood to be teased. Mr. Garcia asking Snake if he's okay was good. At least Arthur offered to help Dorothy out with the bet money. Lucy is still trying to get her friends back. Lucy was good to get Paul to back up her story. LD should not be able to just apologize and it would be fine. Poor Snake has a lot to think about. Snake was good to still show Glenn that he still loves Glenn. It was good to still show that he loves Glenn, you know. At least Snake apologized for freaking out and talked it out with his brother. Trish is such a sweetheart. Melanie, makeup is not that great. Why Degrassi, why Degrassi should have a dress code? Kathleen, go to season 10 and 11 then. If you want a dress code, go there. At least Joey got a job to get his foot in the door. Liz and Caitlin teaming up was kind of nice to see. Trish is so sweet. Spike and Liz are cute friends. Miss Avery is funny to ask Scooter and Bartholomew about when the fish go in. Dr. Sally opened the door for Joey without knowing she did to get his tape almost on the radio. She really liked the song. The video Liz shows, oh, to get, you know, to, she wants a different song. The video Liz shows Caitlin is very hard to watch. Joey should not say something before it happens. Miss Avery was right to teach Scooter and Bartholomew not to believe everything they read. Caitlin jumping all over Melanie was not the best way to tell her about how that makeup is not good. Trish was good to tell Caitlin about how her dad works for a company that Caitlin wants to boycott. Caitlin and Kathleen can have differing views. Why do they both have to act like they are right? At least Dr. Sally told Joey that Joey's tape is really good. Poor Lucy will not stop being bothered by Paul. It's good that Joey and Snake are helping wheels open up again. Erica should not pressure Heather to ask about Clutch for Erica. Clutch flirting with Lucy was so obvious. Poor Heather has to ask an odd question. Why did Faith have to tell Clutch? Of course Clutch was gonna ask why Heather was asking about him. Erica should not turn on Heather like that just because he asked her. Heather's plan to pretend to be each other never works. How can Erica not tell that Clutch was thinking about Lucy? High schoolers are not that mean at my school. They're worse, where, where uh, they said gonna go cry to mommy and daddy about it. They were worse at my school. Um, for an example, my example is uh, I was called a slut and a whore by almost my entire graduating class. Cry to mommy and daddy was wrong to say to wheels. Poor Miss Avery knows the twins, so she knows it's Erica. Obviously clutches into Lucy and everyone can see it. Michelle was right to tell Alexa she should apologize to Simon. Clutch using the twins to get close to Lucy is wrong. At least Alexa apologized for once to Simon, but then never does it again. I like how BLT flirts with Michelle. It's cute. And like, I think it's funny that Alexa never apologizes again, you know. Poor LD notices, but does not want to say anything to Erica. Heather does not either. 
Um, I hated how slimy Clutch sounded when he said, yeah, only for today when dating Heather came up. So poor Heather has to tell her poor Erica is so hurt. At least Heather was able to help Erica. Poor Kathleen has to deal with her parents fighting. I wish my classes were canceled when I had science fairs. Simon never knows what to say to Alexa and it's sad. Alexa is too sensitive. Simon did not call her fat. I'd love to have a little ED. No, you wouldn't, Alexa. Really different times to joke like that. Why is Kathleen so rude to Melanie? She's tried hard. Ever Erica should not assume that Lucy has an ED. Nothing is ever good enough for Kathleen. Poor Simon never said that Alexa was fat. Alexa's blowing it too out of proportion. Kathleen is a little too rude to her mom. I get why, but still. Alexa is beautiful and does not need to lose weight. It explains why she's so bitchy all the time. Caitlin, god damn. Melanie trying to throw out signs to get answers out of Kathleen is failing. Alexa needs to stop saying Simon said things he did not. All the projects were good and cool. Kathleen is... Is Claire. She puts too much pressure on herself. Miss Avery tries to explain that Jill may be pregnant, which is funny because they wanted junk food to prove to be better. Melanie was good to confront Kathleen. Getting an honorable mention was good too, Kathleen. I was glad Miss Avery was there to help Melanie with Kathleen. Simon had to tell Alexa he liked her the way she was, and she walked him in circles again. Miss Avery was good to send Kathleen to the nurse. Poor Joey is still trying for Caitlin. Melanie was nice to offer to pay. BLT making fun of Joey being rejected was funny. BLT's bet with Joey was stupid. Joey saying he wants to watch Snake ask Melanie is funny. Melanie should not lie and say she has the money when she does not. Melanie's mom was right to tell her that she has to save her money. Shane is allowed to not pay for one week, Spike. Melanie has to be honest with Snake. Melanie's mom should not trust her with the money when she's been asking for 20 bucks. Joey asking Caitlin on a date is cute because you can tell he's genuine. Liz hearing Shane was going to the concert was not supposed to get to Spike. Spike yelling at Shane was unnecessary. I get she's mad, but still. Melanie has to own up to the fact she stole. Joey not wanting to accept the money was sweet. Joey's heartfelt speech to Caitlin gets me in my feels every time. More in the relationships. You could at least walk me home. All the feels. Melanie was right to come clean. Melanie selling the ticket to Spike was nice. And I want to say before we move on to the next episode, Joey ripping up the 20 bucks in front of Caitlin was, that's what really got me in my feels. Melanie selling the ticket to Spike was nice. Oh, I already said that. Wheels needs a good therapist. Spike is so excited for the concert. It's cute. Mr. Garcia is a good teacher to ask about wheels and to offer to help him to catch up. Shane wanting to take acid is stupid. It's nice of Snake to take Wheels' things to him. Wheels is a little too harsh to Joey. Wheels cannot just go live with his dad. Luke is too mean to Shane about not being ready because he asked one question. You eat paper? And it's like, maybe you're not ready for acid then. I'm like, Jesus. Tim was right to say it was dangerous and not to do it. Wheels should have listened to his grand. Wheels should listen to his grandma. She's just trying to help. Skyler Stadium. Very clever because Linda Skyler. Shane and Joey were right to try to talk him out of it. They were right to say hitchhiking is dangerous. Snake and Joey were right to worry about wheels. The hitchhiking scene, having the Zit song play was funny. Luke should not lie to the police. It will come back to bite him. The man that helps wheels hitchhiking is creepy with what he decides to talk about. Fooling around and do you have a girlfriend? I make lots of deliveries down here, the man said that. That makes you feel itchy. At least Wheels can chase him away. At least Wheels' grandmother does care about him. The first time I watched, I didn't know the the first um, time his, that the first time his dad answering the door was an imagination. I didn't know that the first time watching. Wheels' dad not being very happy to see him is sad. And here is Luke's karma when the policeman comes to the school. Luke, you have to tell the truth. Wheels' dad is right to tell him to call his grandmother. Wheels' grandmother is smart to pick up on the tell Joey I am okay. Joey cannot lie to Wheels' grandmother. Nancy was nice to make a card for Shane. Wheels is nasty to everyone and it's too much. Wheels, we care what you want, but you can't always get what you want because you need what is right for you. Wheels breaking down with his grandma was good for him. Poor Arthur wants to spend time with his dad. Yick is a good friend for Arthur to have. Melanie helped Kathleen. That is what is important. Yick is a good listener. I love how Snake says Allison is all right because I think she is blah. Tim telling off Luke bit by bit while he explodes is great. Poor Yick feels to feels so uncomfortable by Carol and Arthur's interactions. Yick is so funny to joke with Arthur and call him sweetie. Arthur opening up the door and seeing what he saw must have been shocking. Tim exploding at Luke was good. Kathleen putting Melanie and Snake together was sweet. 
Snake is right to tell Melanie nicely that you have lipstick on your teeth. Mrs. Jeremiah embarrasses Joey in front of Caitlin. That's funny. Arthur should have talked to his dad privately instead of in public and at Carol. Kathleen telling Allison and Amy off was right when they talked bad about Melanie. Arthur feeling bad for his dad is karma for what he did at parents' night. So black and white. That's the episode. Michelle and BLT learn about prejudice after deciding to attend a graduation dance together. I was so upset by this episode. Her dad, uh, at least her mom, was trying to be polite. Her dad was completely over the top not polite. And also they changed Michelle's dad for Degrassi High. I don't know if anybody noticed that but me. But yeah, it just, it upset me because it's like, why? Like, why? So, you know, but I, I think Michelle still going with BLT was good and her still talking to him was good. And just literally, like, honestly, I really, really love that Michelle decided not to listen to people and decided to do what she wanted to do. And that was go to the dance with BLT because they're so sweet. Party. Trouble is brewing for Lucy, whose new love interest is a problem drinker, and Joey, who says he'll buy beer for a party. So, obviously, I love how the, when the boys are drinking, Wheels says he doesn't want to, and he stands on that fact, and he's like, you know why I don't want to. And so, you know, and obviously Joey shouldn't have tried to get the beer and everything, because they're in middle school. Um, but Troubles Bleeding for Lucy is new love interest is a problem drinker. So that's clutch, obviously. And I, I like how, okay, so when clutch came in and the party was over, you know, Lucy was like, the party's over. Everybody's gone, go home. And I like how Lucy need him. I don't know if it was in the stomach or in the nuts or wherever, but she need him somewhere. And I loved that girl power moment. Bye bye, junior high. Degrassi burns down as for the last dance at Degrassi. So, I do have some notes about this. Uh, I like that Tessa and Scooter decided to actually tell people, but they shouldn't have left the door open because that's where the flammable stuff was. I know they were kids and they were like, oh my God, like, but you know. Caitlin freaking out about Joey during the fire at the dance was amazing and more in relationships, but she's like, where's Joey? Where's Joey? It shows she really cares. Um... And the hug Caitlin gives Joey is so sweet. Like that hug is just so sweet. And the reactions to the school burning down are heartbreaking. Everyone's like, why aren't the firemen doing anything? It's in our classrooms. Like, where are we going to go to school? Like, it's just so heartbreaking to see the students. But another heartbreaking thing is to see Radage. He's looking at the school like shit. He's like, where, where am I going to go now? We, they say the building burned down. But we never really get closure if the building actually burned to the ground or if it was just shut down because of the fire. Because they say in Degrassi High, you burned yours to the ground. But I don't know. Did they? I don't know. But I'm not going to speculate. It was a tragedy that that happened. And, um... Yeah, so, um, yeah, that's all for today. Again, leave your opinions down in the comments down below, and uh, let me know who your favorite characters are, and I will see you in the next video. Next week we do Degrassi High. Bye!